Hey guys, Jimmy and today on Roblox we're playing some more bad business as you can see on the screen right now and we have a new weapon. So I think this is a shotgun. I'm not exactly too sure. I just oh the menu's got actually got changed quite a lot. It looks a lot cleaner. Ooh, the um logo up here looks really clean. Dang! Anyway, there's a new update on bad business. So then there's a few things and there's a few things that I heard that they want to do in the future so there's a new weapon the pancor jackhammer also a prototype pass and apparently i think there's only going to be one more weapon in that no, actually no this is the last weapon it looks like in the proto pass which is pretty good anyway updates spawn protection vis visual so also when you spawn in like when you just die you spawn in you can get damaged for like a couple of seconds but the people shooting you have no idea when that ends and now I'm guessing kind of like a, just a false field effects like all drill box games used to have. Uh, the menu updates work in progress, so we can assume that there'll be more. Pretty cool. Um, a loadout and outfit menus redesigned. Main menu restyled. Settings menu move. So that's basically it. But they also want to do some things. Oh, actually, this is kind of weird. Ooh. Ooh, dang. Let's actually quickly go ahead and put on um, the new weapon lens. So I think it's a shotgun. It is a shotgun. Um, looks kind of interesting, can't spin it around anymore like you used to be able to, unless that was a, di a different game. Mods, there's no mods for it unfortunately, I don't really care about skins to be honest. I feel like a lot of the base version of uh, skins look pretty good anyway on the guns. So, they're going to give it a try okay, um, I don't exactly know how well it's going to go, and I feel like this game that's, is probably already like almost over, yeah. If it, this game was almost over. But it's a fully automatic shotgun, which is going to be interesting. But other than that, I think that they stated that they would like to do like some sort of charm system, like a lot of games actually do now, like Call of Duty, um, Modern Warfare, and Rainbow Six Siege does, which I think will be pretty cool. But anyway, I'm going to hop into a fresh game, okay? So I'm going to like warm up in this game, see how well it goes. But it's a fully automatic shotgun, so I guess we'll see how it plays. Okay, we finally got a game. I actually joined um, a few different servers just to try and like get a map that I wanted. I'm dead. I, uh... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I've tried to join a few servers because I always like keep getting maps that are like really long range, like this one for example. I'm gonna give this one a little try though. Um, didn't really give it too much of a try the first time. I just thought it was a terrible idea and just didn't really like do anything with that. But this gun is stupidly close range oriented, okay? You cannot use this gun more than like five feet. It's like, it just won't work. Please don't shoot me. Like, th that range is not gonna work. If you only get like one or two pellets to hit when you actually get a hit marker, don't use it at that range. It is, what am I getting hit by? Don't use it at that range though. It's not gonna end well. It really won't. Like, I hit that guy twice, and I think I hit five things in total. Did 40 damage. This thing only has 10 bullets, by the way, as well. This thing is not like your other shotguns, where you can, like, hit a headshot. It'll do enough, like, headshot multiplayer damage to boost up to, like, do a ton of damage. This isn't that sh one of those shotguns. It's fully auto. Kind of, like, good fire rate, I guess. Like, nothing really to complain about. It doesn't kick a lot, at least, when, um... Also, that's the uh, FF, the false field thing you get. So even then, it took me eight bullets to kill that guy. I think I like, missed a couple, right? Okay, that's a couple more people than I thought there was. Ah, oh, he got me. He got me, man! This is probably one of the worst maps, honestly, to showcase this on. I feel like I've... I, I don't know if I can remember the names entirely, but... I feel like Brazil is probably one of the maps where this is like a good shotgun or a good gun to use in general. I'm so dead. Thank you. If I actually was to use the shotgun effectively, how did you not die? That's a teammate. I need to reload this. Okay, this thing takes forever to reload. At least it seems like it does. Like, headshot. Headshots on multiple of those and the full clip doesn't work. I think I missed two bullets But yeah, this thing is like ov obviously is gonna excel Super close range. Do not use this gun like medium range. It's not gonna work unfortunately I'm so dead. I'm not dead Oh, okay, that's not a teammate. 
But yeah, this thing is super good to close range, so I think on this map, I probably shouldn't play another spawns, honestly. Which is why I have the Luger, which, uh, I will say, okay, I've tried it a little bit on a map. Not good at long range. I don't, again, I, I don't remember the map names, I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrible <laughs> with the map names on this game. But you need, I'm, I'm, this is like, yeah, you can kind of use it long range, no. You cannot use this thing long range. You will not get the kill in a full clip. It's not worth it. Like, look at this. That took me a full clip, like nine bullets, okay? We'll, we'll give it nine bullets. That's a lot. Okay, I just got hit for a button. You better leave me alone right now. Like, the time to kill this gun is bad. Anything more than five feet, okay? Do not use it. Do not even proceed to aim at people more than five feet away from you. It's not gonna work. So, I have a few tips, okay? Have a good pistol. The Luger probably isn't a good example. I just love the, the Luger, but definitely wants one of the revolver pistols for long range. Think of your shotgun, this shotgun I should say, because this is the only shotgun that you need to use in this situation, as a secondary. This shotgun you do not want to use unless they are literally right on top of you, because you will not win that fight. Like, Luger, pretty good weapon all around, honestly. I like it. Like, un it feels like it's uncapped at least for the fire rates. So, pretty good weapon, right? Actually, I kind of like the Luger. I don't care what anyone says, okay? This is a great gun for me. Don't block my shot. Thank you. Come on. Peek me, peek me, peek me. Thank you. But yeah, the time to kill is horrible. It doesn't do a lot of damage. You have to be close range, which obviously sucks. No one likes those sorts of guns. I almost just failed to kill that guy. Actually, you know what? I will camp here. Just don't throw them at me, please. I will camp here just for the fact that I'm trying to get kills. And the, obviously the only way to have that to work is to be close range! And this is like probably the closest range area on any map in the game. It kind of sucks. I feel like this would be a pretty cool gun. It's very fun. For me, there's two categories of guns. Is it very good to use? Yes. Great. Is it? Is it not? Bad. Okay. It better be fun as hell to use, otherwise I'm not using it. If it ain't fun, I'm not using it, okay? As long as it's not good either. Okay, please don't shoot me. Oh, no. <laughs> he got me. So yeah, there's two categories. If it's not good, it has to be fun. This does fall into the fun category for me. It's actually really, really fun to use. I won't lie. Okay, I thought I was a live person, but it's not. That's fine. Okay, you didn't die. I missed all my shots. But as you can see, like, don't use it there, okay? On this map, this is the closest range that you're gonna get. Probably in every map. It is unfortunate that I think that every map in this game is fairly like long range orientated so this gun right now is just in the unfortunate situation where you're probably just not going to see anyone use it unfortunately until we get like more maps that are close range there's a lot of places to like hide on the insides we're probably like just you're not going to see anyone use this gun i will use it because it is fun but you kind of have to like play like how i'm playing it right now i'm like forcing people to like come into here for me this is a very like th this room like if i stand here it's only really good if people like standing at that corner that's like the range on it unfortunately okay we actually just won that game already nice 41 kills kind of trash but it's this shotgun that's what i'm saying this shotgun is not good the shotgun is not, not not good at all it really sucks so what i would recommend is Put on a really good pistol, so the Magnum is probably one of the best pistols, honestly. I don't know if the Taurus Judge is any good, I think it's like a shotgun pistol. Um, Scrobles, probably the Molotov, but I don't have that one unlocked yet, so I'd probably just stick with the normal uh, stick grenade. So then, King of the Hill, actually this is probably, oh it's, oh no, this is, I, I thought I got a different gun, I thought it was randomizer then. This seems like a pretty decent one. King of the Hill is probably like the best game mode to play with this, if you are wanting to use it. People also go for the hill. Close range environments. But yeah, there, there we are. Nice. We actually got some kills. You're dead. I'm out of bullets. Yeet. Oh man, I reload. Okay, give me a second. So, like I was saying, 
For all this gun to actually be like, you w might want to use it. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh my gosh, get me out of here, please. So for this gun to actually make me want to use it, I'm probably going to have to like, put on a really good secondary. And how I would explain this gun is, don't think of it as a primary gun. Even though it is a primary gun, I mean, it's a, literally in the primary slot. Think of it as a very, very weak primary, and just call it a secondary, okay? You want to have a really, really good secondary, okay? So actually, like, use this thing good. <laughs> okay, there we are next. So, I would say, pair this thing with the Magnum, okay? The Magnum is a very, very good pistol. It can one-tap very far in the game. It can one-shot headshot, which I think no other gun can actually do except from the snipers. So, very, very good gun. But it kind of, like, sucks close range if you're not used to it. So also that's where this gun comes in. A spammable mess of a gun that can do good damage only close range. So... Where the Magnum lacks, this gun excels, and where this gun lacks, which is more than 5 feet, is where the revolver is freaking really good, because it can one-shot. I'm actually going to try something risky here, never mind my teammate was already there. So yeah, this gun, I wouldn't really recommend using it. It doesn't really seem that good at all, I'm actually going to lose this fight. Okay, thank you teammate, I was actually going to lose that fight low, which would have sucked. I don't want to sp I want to go into the spawn, but I also don't. Okay, that's nice. I'll take that. I'm actually going to go on this roof, just so I can sit down for a minute. Where am I getting shot from? Oh, no. Okay, I'm gone. See you later. See you later, man. I don't want any of that. Nope. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Okay, there we are. You're dead. You're not dead. Now you're dead. Because false field guy, run away, run away. You're dead. Don't look at me ever again, boy. Run, 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 run. No one in here. That's a teammate. Yeet. Turn around. Go back. Okay, you're dead. That's an enemy. Leave me alone. Thank you. There's another one over here. There's another two over here. That's a bad shout. JK, I'm a male lad. Get out of my face. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. How's it going, man? Just don't mind me. I'm just in your spawn. That's a teammate. I'm sorry, teammate. There was no name over your head for some reason. Why am I not hitting you? I don't know why. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of hard to commentate over because it's freaking wild over here, okay? Leave me alone. Oh, get off me, boy. Oh, no. I can't hit that. Excuse me. Excuse me, lads. Excuse me. Don't look at me. You looking at me? Yeah, don't look at me. You don't look at me either, okay? You can't do that. Okay, that's a uh, mad lead. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. You're dead. You're dead. Leave me alone. You're dead. Come through, teammate. Get my way, boy. Get out my way, boy. Get out my way, boy! <laughs> okay, it's pretty good. You have to be close range, low. So, boy. Yeet. Give me a second, I reload. No, yeet! Turn around, jump across. How's it going, man? Oh, shoot, that's an enemy. Uh-oh, let me back in. Jump over that. Jump back up here. That's a flash. You're dead! Get off of me, man! Nope. Did I say you could challenge me? Okay, there we are. We finally died! I don't know what we just did, but... <laughs> hey, I made the new gun look pretty good. 44 and 1, dang. Okay. Yes. This gun is very, very, very good. Close range. Are you more than 2 feet away from your opponent? 5 feet, we'll say okay. Give me a second, okay? You're shooting me and I don't like that. Oi! I said leave me alone. Oh, he got me. 
that, nice shot, man. Nice shot. Um, this gun, you really... I'm, I'm, I'm saying it a lot, but you really need to be, like, within five feet. Like, ten feet at max, anything outside of ten feet low, it's honestly just not even worth shooting them. It's honestly not. You're just wasting bullets and drawing attention to yourself. So, probably wouldn't recommend it. There we are. You're dead. Yeets. You're dead. You're dead. Get him out of my way. Get him miss. You can deal with that. Okay, I'm gonna run in. Oh no, he's got false field. No! I should have challenged him, man. He just spawns. Dang it. But yeah, pretty good gun. I, I kind of like it. Like I said, very good close range, but there's probably better guns for it. I personally love the Vector, um, which actually quite a lot of people like that gun. So it's pretty damn good for an SMG. Um, I usually like map people ac across the map with it. You're dead. Okay, I want to go over there, okay? So you know I am. How's it going, man? How's it going? Let me in. Hey, we're back here again. Hey, guys. Oh, no. Wait, he just ignored me? Am I really just not worth your time, man? I see how that is. Okay, I see how it is. These guys, I swear, a lot of people struggle with, it with that one jump. Okay, two shots. You're just spawned in. I don't want to fight you. Okay, maybe now I will. I take it back. There's another one over here. You just randomly died. I don't know why. I saw him. Oh, he has a double barrel. He's uh, probably really annoyed that I've been killing him. But now he's dead again. And oh, you're dead again. Oh, wait, there's another one. Oh, wait, he's camping up there. Leave me alone. Wait, I'm... I'm not Omega. How did we lose the flag? Actually, I'm not spawn trapping them that much this time. But yeah, as, as like I said, I haven't really been using this revolver. I usually try and use the the newest guns whenever I do these videos. Oh, that actually, those again. Nice, sixty-three kills. That's actually really, really good for the shotgun, I would say. Um, I haven't really been using the Magnum in that gameplay because also I was mostly close range. And whenever a new gun comes out, I mostly try and use the new gun as much as possible without using any other guns. Plus, you never run out of ammo in this game, which I really like. But <sighs> I don't really know about the, about this gun. Okay, it's actually not even the fastest fire fa fastest fire rate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Saiger actually is, which the Saiger is actually good. How is this? This thing is apparently just more damage, but it seems trash compared to the Saiger, to be honest. Also, I got hiccups really bad. I haven't used the new bar the the double barrel. The I was gonna say new double barrel. No, I haven't used the double barrel yet because I haven't unlocked it. So it's probably new new territory for me. But I have used it in the gun games. Usually, I get a lot of gun games whenever I just join random servers. And I'll use it, and this seems like a really, really good shotgun. It seems really good. You should better be, because it only has two shots. Um, the jackhammer, though? I'd probably say it's probably one of the worst shotguns, to be honest. The Spaz probably was the best when I actually when it was really, really good, but they did nerf it quite a lot, and they took away like um, a lot of the headshot multiplier. So I think it's not really that great anymore, but it's still pretty darn good. I'd probably would say the jackhammer is really not that great, though. It is really, really bad. I mean, let's actually have a look at this. I think this is the spreads. Yeah, as, as you can tell, that's actually... Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. So, and this is also the recoil, which... It looks like it also, I would probably say, like, is where all the bullet pellets are, are like, flying out. As you can see, like, it hits both sides of this freaking box, okay? Every other shotgun is, like... Fairly like close in the center of that one box. Like, if you if you hit some of the spaz, most of the pellets are gonna hit them like within like I don't know, 20, let's say like twenty five meters. Okay, like yeah, the sagas the semi fire it fires a lot quicker, obviously. So actually, they're both semi fires, but the sagas a lot quicker. So yeah, it should be like a little bit more spread out. The jackhammer low is freaking everywhere. You're not you're not like, hitting anyone outside five meters, man. They're really not close, like, that's the funny part. Um, so that's the only problem with it, really. Like, it's very... It seems to... It says it does good damage, which is great, but only when you're, like, in that 5-meter radius. Like, if if you can, like, actually reach them with your hand, that's a, that's a good range. You're probably going to, like, one or two shot them. Outside of those 5 feet low, you're not going to really do anything with it. I mean, as you can see here, the pellets just fly off every direction. 
So you're not really going to hit that many pellets, so obviously you're not going to do all of that damage, which kind of sucks. But I can see why they did it. But unfortunately, it only has 10 shots, okay? Now the Saga also has 10 shots, so I would just say use the Saga, honestly, if you want to use the Jackhammer. So p please, bad business developers, give this thing like maybe 5 more shots. 15 magazine, magazine, size, magazine size doesn't seem like too far-fetched. Maybe even just give it 50, just give it a drum gun, okay? I'd be pretty happy with that as well. And maybe make it, the bullet spread even worse okay, than it already is, but yeah. I wouldn't really recommend this gun if you are going to buy the the pass just for a gun. Definitely not for the jackhammer. It's not really that great of a gun, which is fine, but it is fun. Like I said, it does work really, really good. Close range, but you, most of the maps in the game are not close range. Cario? The longest map in the game! There's nowhere on that map where you can like be close range unless you're inside one of the temple buildings. And still, the rooms are pretty dang long. And like long ranges aside, so it's, the shotgun's not going to be good on that map. The other shotguns are fine because the pellets are all like pretty confined, so you can actually hit a lot of damage more than five feet. This isn't one of those shotguns, you need to be close range, which I would say is pretty decent. There's like only really like two maps I can think of that are like decent for that, and that is the map we just played. Um, I forgot the name already, and I think the alien map, Airy 51. And not the entire map, because that's also probably the longest range map, honestly. But King of the Hill forces you inside that one little, like, corridor, like, with, like, three different rooms. That is where this, I think, would be the best to go for. Also, as well, this game, the map that I was just on, the spawn trapping is pretty good, because it's all close range, moderately. At least I can force close range gunfights. I wouldn't challenge people any, people any more than five feet away from me. I force them to come to me if I want them to also if they want to challenge me so definitely want to use this gun like very often uh very situational kings of the hill game modes is probably where this thing will excel because also everyone's going for one point on the map so it's very close confinement that's probably it low so it's kind of unfortunate if i i really hope that they're going to add new maps in the future and in the near future i should say and hopefully they act like bring us some maps that have pretty consistent close range gunfights that's where this gun's gonna excel but like i said for right now it's really not like a primary i would say think of it as a secondary and use a secondary pistol that's a really really good one i don't really know what is a good pistol the, the two guns i l use quite a lot which as you can see um wait, it doesn't tell you the kills anymore why doesn't it tell you the kills it, it usually there's like a kill thing on how many kills i've got with it did they get rid of that don't tell me we got rid of that, man. How do I how do I tell then? I don't know how to tell how many kills I've got with a gun. There's like a level thing, but there's no like kill thing anymore, which kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. But you can see that I've got this at level six. My Luger's level five. I'm not really a big fan. I actually didn't know that the PPK is actually fully auto. I thought it was semi, so I've been tapping with it. Um, I've used a few guns. The Jarajet freaking sucks, okay. But I think that the Magnum is probably the best pistol I, I can use right now it's very long it can be very long range it can one tap consistently if you hit a headshot from fairly long range to be honest so a very good gun i think it's like one of the only guns in the game that can actually one shot unless it's a sniper obviously i personally love the the luger low i this is probably my favorite pistol it's fire rate it seems uncapped i mean it's 550 that's really really quick i got a good trigger finger so also they're dead so really, really good. Can use it long range, medium range, close range. Works all around. Magnum, I kind of struggle using it fairly close range. It's kind of like a shotgun, really close range. They're gonna they're gonna die if you hit them, but it's like a it's kind of like a slug shotgun, I guess. But gotta make sure you hit them. It's also gotta be gotta do that. And I'm not really good at that long close range. More like a long range gun for me, or medium range, which is what I would say to use the jackhammer with. Use your <laughs> it's weird, I know. But use your secondary magnum as your primary gun for like long range, like medium range, more than five feet away from you. And then if you want to like rush the king of the hill, rush the site, or just you're in like a building, the jackhammer is probably the gun to go to then. So yeah, jackhammer, I don't think it's good, but I really like it. I feel like it's a really fun gun. And hey, we actually got a pretty good gameplay with it, so I am very happy. Anyway, I'm gonna leave off here because I've been ranting for a, a bit. 
I'm just not really a, a big fan of how weak it is, or at least, I don't know, I'm actually not too bad. The, the damage actually is pretty good, but it's just that the freaking bullets, pellets just fly everywhere on the map, bro. It's not fun, man. It's not fun. <laughs> but yeah, it is, it is a pretty fun gun. I kind of like using it. So anyway, leaving off here. See you guys next time.